up guys welcome to my new video and in this video we will see what a for loop container is so we are using this to perform a task for a specific iterations and there is an expression which it evaluates and it stops when it, the expression becomes false okay so let's take an example so we have this for loop container and we are going to perform an SQL task so let's create a new connection. So this is the connection, All right? And we have to write a query. So insert into into the table. say this all right insert into this and we have we, we need two variables one variable will increment each time and another variable is the is the count okay where uh, the first variable will reach up to that count and the condition will become false so to create a variable go right right click on this and variable so we have these two variables you can click on this add variable and you can create two variables so the first variable is the count so it will take its value is 10 okay and second is this increment its value is 0 initially all right then right click on or double click on this container you have this init expression so first of all we will make increment as 0 Okay, then this will uh, eval evaluate expression will evaluate the condition. Okay, if it is a true or false, if the condition is true, it will again iterate. So for that, we will check if increment is less than our count. And finally, we are incrementing it by one. Okay. So that's it. Just click on OK and execute this. Okay, so both of the there are two ticks. Let us see if it is there or not. So you can see ten records of the same name. So we have iterated through that query and it has inserted 10 records so this is it thanks for watching guys and if you got something from this video do click on the like button do subscribe and comment if you want thank you